What's up guys, in this video we're going to be unboxing and doing an on the fee of the new Nike SB Dunk Low in the Orange Lobster colorway. I purchased these sneakers December 20th for a retail price of $120. They're currently reselling for around $500 depending on size. Having said that, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, these come in your regular colorful Nike SB box, but let's go ahead and check out the size sticker. Here you'll see the official name as the Nike SB Dunk Low OG QS in the orange frost slash electro orange colorway. So let's go ahead and open these right up. First thing you'll see is some tissue paper in this trippy looking design and bam, here they are guys, the Nike SB Dunk Low in the orange lobster colorway. Inside of the right sneaker, these do come with two extra pair of laces in the colors orange and this green blue color. And they aren't in any bags, they're just connected to the white shoelaces. These also came with this black rubber band that you can go ahead and put on the front of the sneaker and it's supposed to signify lobster claws when they're tied up with a black tape. The weird thing is that I only got one of these. I think two of them were supposed to be included, but it is what it is. I like the sneaker without the black rubber piece anyways. All right guys, I want to jump in here real quick to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to be making more dope sneaker reviews, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are into these type of videos. But now we'll go ahead and get into all the details that this sneaker does have to offer, starting with the midsole. We'll have your typical nice Nike Dunk midsole in all black with some orange stitching. You'll also see that bright orange outsole creeping in as well. And here's a closer look at that beautiful all orange outsole. Very good looking as usual. And when it comes to the uppers, the majority of the sneaker is all orange, but let's go ahead and take a closer look starting at the front of the shoe. Surrounding the toe box, we have this really nice orange color, which also has some hints of speckles in it to represent the lobster texture. And it's in a very soft, the new buck material. It feels really good when touching it. We have that same color and material here at the shoelace holes, at the ankle strap, and down to the heel. At the very center of the sneaker, we have the Nike swoosh in a darker orange color, which is in a leather material, and the entire swoosh is bordered in white. Surrounding the swoosh, we have some more orange new buck, but this time with no speckles in it. And it is in a more bland type of orange color. You can go ahead and see the differences here. We have some more of that color and material here at the very top top ankle area and on the back of the shoe. We also have some Nike labeling stitched in in white. And when it comes to the inside of the sneaker, it is identical to the outside. So we'll go ahead and jump right into the toe box. The toe box is in all orange without the speckles in that same very nice new buck material. These sneakers do come pre-laced with some white laces. The tongue is in an all white mesh material. And at the very top, we do have an orange tongue tag with the Nike SB labeling in white. We have an orange and white plaid sock liner and insole as well as that same design on the inside of the tongue. These sneakers were manufactured from April 29th through July 26th but that sums up all the details this sneaker has to offer so now we're going to put both shoes side by side to give you guys different angles and lighting so you guys know exactly what you're getting if you do decide to go ahead and purchase these sneakers. All right guys here they are the Nike SB Dunk Low in the Concepts Orange Lobster colorway all this footage is completely unedited so what you see is what you'll get this is definitely a sneaker that will pop right at your face and will definitely get you attention so if that's what you're looking for this sneaker may be for you but let's go ahead and put them on feet and see what they really look like when wearing them All right guys, overall, this is a very unique looking pair of sneakers. You don't see something like this every day. 
However, they are still very attractive in my opinion. If I were to wear these sneakers, I'd definitely rock them without the band. And like I said, I do think they look great. The only thing holding me back from for sure keeping these sneakers is the value. These shoes are worth a pretty penny, so it's hard to justify wearing a shoe that's worth that much money. But those are just my initial thoughts. But having said that, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.